Hello, thank you for tuning into this video. Today I'm going to be doing a look based around my Lisa Eldridge Velvet Dragon lipstick. So if you would like to see how I achieved this look, please keep on watching. Okay, let's get started with the eyes. My main eye color is going to be this Hourglass Scattered Light in the shade Vivid. It's this gorgeous olive green color and I, I really love this and I want to get some more use out of it. So I figured today would be the perfect opportunity to use it. But I do wanna start with a bit of a base before I put that Hourglass shade on. So let's go in with Natasha and here we go. I'm gonna start out with the classic crease and I'm going to go in with this shade right down here called Tusk just to get a nice little base going. I was trying to decide which shade to go in with next and I was looking at these two here, buff and tone. And so I just wanted to swatch them to see which one I thought would be better. And actually they are quite different. So one is much deeper than the other. The buff is much deeper and more pigmented. And I believe tone is one of the cream to powder shadows. So that's probably why that's happening. Um, I'm going to go in with tone first and see how that goes and if I want a bit more richness of color then I'll go into buff. So I'm actually pretty happy with that, just with the tone on top of um, Tusk there. So I do want to use one more color just to really deepen out sort of the outer V area on the upper lid. So I'm going to go in with Seed, this brown here. And for that, I'm using the Mini Booster from Sonia G. Okay, so I just sort of tried to even out the eyes a little bit there, um, blended everything out a little bit more with tone. And I'm going to use tone for the lower lash line as well. I'm gonna try it with this, uh, with the mini booster. It might be a little bit too uh, thick for the work that I want to do, but let's just give it a shot and see what happens. Great, that blended out pretty easily. Just even it out a little bit there. I'm enjoying these brushes, I have to say. All right, so I just did my tight lining and my upper waterline. I used the Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal Eyeliner in Cocoa to do that. And I just did it the way I normally did, which is to run it along the upper waterline and then slightly flick it out a little bit at the end there. So I'm actually gonna leave the eyes like that for now. And I'm actually going to do the rest of the face and put the lips on so you can see sort of how the Velvet Dragon will look with this more neutral, just matte eye look. And then after you can see that, then we'll add on the olive green um, glitter shade on top. Now let's do bronzer. Uh, I'm going to start out with my Charlotte Tilbury in Fair. I'm just putting that all over um where i normally put it under the cheekbones around the forehead under the chin just to sculpt out the face a little bit and and add warmth at the same time not going for a heavy contour here okay so that's with the 
Charlotte Tilbury. And I also brought out my Guerlain um, Terracotta Nude, which I used a lot in the summertime, but haven't been using so much uh, lately just because it is uh, warmer and deeper than the uh, Charlotte Tilbury one. But I think for this look, I'm gonna be able to handle a little bit of this. So let's just go in with a little, little bit of that because I think that Velvet Dragon does lend itself to a bit of a warmer complexion than what I have been going for lately. Okay, I think that's good for the bronze. And now on to blush. So I am actually going to start out with a little bit of a cream blush using the Velvet Dragon color. Just a tiny, tiny bit though, I think, because I do want to put um, one of my powder blushes over it that I think is gonna go nicely with this look. But just to bring that sort of cohesiveness of the Velvet Dragon throughout the face, I'm just going to put a little bit of it on my cheeks and then sort of on my forehead, a little over the nose there. And I think I've actually got enough of the orangey tone in my eyeshadow that I don't need to sweep this across the eye. And I'm just gonna tone that down just a slight little bit with my sponge here. Just to kind of get everything melded in nicely. What I want to use for powder blush is this MAC uh, mineralize blush and the shade I have is love joy I think this is gonna go great with this look using my refer 05 brush um, I've wiped it off I know it looks like it has pink on it but it's pretty well wiped off so let's go in here And same thing, I just like to kind of bring it everywhere that I brought that bronzer, kind of all over the face, just to try and give a bit of a cohesive look there. What I like about this Lovejoy shade is that uh, it looks very orangey, sort of browny terracotta, but when you put it on, it actually does have some pink undertone, so that makes it, for me, a uh, much more wearable shade than if it were just sort of an orangey brown color. Now last for the face, I have the Dominique Cosmetics Golden Dew Skin Gloss, yep, Skin Gloss Highlighter. So I figured I'd go with a cream highlight here because I feel that I've got a lot going on <laughs> with the rest of the face. So I just kind of wanted to go with um, a nice cream highlighter that's not going to look powdery in any way or overly metallic or, um, you know, do anything to take away from the rest of the look. I just want it to, to add some nice glow and sort of glassiness to the skin. There we go. I think that's good. Now for the main attraction, time to put on the lip. Um, I'm gonna start out just from the bullet. I don't have any lip liner or anything on right now. So we'll see how it goes. I will probably end up using a lip brush to define the edges, but let's just go straight in with the bullet right now. I just spent a little bit of time just trying to perfect the shape of the lips with my lip brush. And let's just dab a little bit more color on there. There we go. So that's the full on lip color. 
Um, of course, you can wear the lip color in a lot of different ways. So you can wear it full on like this, or it works really nicely as a stain as well. Um, and I think it's one of those colors that will vary depending on the light that you're in and even depending on, you know, what you're wearing, your rest of your makeup and so on. So the first time I tried this on, I found it looked quite orangey and now I'm seeing more of the red tones in it. So I think that's really interesting. So this is basically the look, um, the sort of more toned down version that doesn't have the olive glitter on the eyes. I don't have mascara on, but you can get the gist of sort of the effect of this look. And now to bump it up a little, let's go in with this Hourglass Scattered Light in Vivid. I'm going to use this Refer uh, 21 brush. Normally I like to use my finger for this type of a shadow, but I'm trying to get a bit more of a precise uh, lid application here. So I'm gonna try it with this refer brush and we will see how that goes. So here is the completed look with the, the hourglass glitter on. I think it was really fun to create this look kind of based around the lip color. There are so many different ways that you could go with this lip color. I think um, it would be beautiful with just a nice neutral brown eye, little brown smoky eye. Um, I think it would also look great with a really glittery silvery eye. But um, anyway, this is the, just the direction that I felt like going in today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. I'd love to see them. That's it for today. Thanks. Bye.